Advanced Residential Applications and Case Studies Chapter 2 Advanced Residential Appraisal Concepts Page 4 The Competency Rule As stated on the previous page, the competency rule requires that you must be you must yeah be competent to perform the assignment that is you must have the necessary knowledge and experience to perform the assignment competently prior to accepting the assignment at least that is plan a fortunately there is also a plan b because there is a first time for everything isn't there and in order for you to become competent for particular types of assignments, you first have to do one or two or 20. So if you do not already have the necessary knowledge and experience to complete the assignment competently, but you still want to perform the assignment. Plan B requires that you disclose your lack of knowledge and slash or experience to your client. At this point, the client may or may not be open to your proposal to move forward with the assignment. If you are allowed to proceed, then you must take all steps necessary or appropriate to complete the assignment competently. What might those steps be? Often, when facing a complex appraisal, appraisers will overcome a lack of knowledge or experience by seeking out the assistance of an appraiser who does possess that knowledge and experience. That is one way to obtain the knowledge and experience, but it is not the only way. Another means of solving the problem is for the appraiser to complete a course of instruction, either live or online, or to reference publications relevant to the problem to be solved, or to gain access to copies of reports for the type of assignment to be completed. Whatever means you use to reach the point of be being competent, remember that you, that's highlighted, not the client, are responsible for determining that you are competent. A professional appraiser must know his or her own limits of knowledge and experience rather than rely on a client or another to make that determination. More on that in just a bit. Upon completion of the assignment, you are also required to disclose in the report the fact that you were initially lacking knowledge or experience to competently complete the assignment. Also, you will describe the steps that you took to complete the assignment competently. Did you affiliate with another appraiser? Did you immerse yourself in a course of study? Did you reference other appraisal reports for similar complex properties? The reason this disclosure is necessary, even though the client was advised prior to acceptance of the assignment, is because other intended users deserve to be fully appraised, they spelled it wrong, of the fact that you were initially lacking the knowledge or experience to complete the assignment competently. While your client may have full confidence in you, Others may not feel the same way. They may decide that a review of your work or even another appraisal is in order. Disclosure is not optional. 
it is required in the report so don't fail to do so the competency rule applies to all assignments you take on as an appraiser this rule is always important even for the most mundane assignments how much more important is the competency rule when the appraiser is faced with the challenge of appraising a complex property whenever you have the opportunity to appraise a complex property therefore it is vital that you honestly and accurately assess your knowledge and experience as they relate to the task at hand there will surely be times when you will determine that you need to turn down assignments that are offered to you and there is no shame in doing so in fact this is a true indicator of your professionalism imagine a general practice physician refusing to acknowledge that he or she is not the right doctor to perform heart bypass surgery such a physician would be a danger to the patients and an embarrassment to the profession in the same manner appraisers must be willing to admit when somebody else is better suited for completion of a particular assignment if you never turn down an assignment because you believe you are not the right person for the job then you are a dangerous appraiser know your limits but learn in order to expand your limits one mistake that some appraisers make is forgetting that once they have obtained their certification they still have much to learn just because they are not required to be supervised anymore doesn't mean they are ready for any appraisal assignment that may happen to come their way speaking of supervision one of the many practical advantages of the supervisor slash trainee arrangement that is required for certification is the fact that your supervisor will be with you to number one determine your competence for particular assignments and number two provide assistance when you are completing an appraisal of a complex property drawing on his or her own knowledge and experience end of page